Here we have a uh, carbon fiber body. And I'm lifting it up, and it weighs about 25 or 30 pounds. And this is to compare with a, uh, you see, it's easy to lift. This compares to about 250, 300 pounds for a fuel car. And that's very important that it be light. The rule of thumb is that the uh, body and the, the, the vehicle should be lighter than the people who ride in it, you know the uh, load it's carrying. And the other important thing about it is that it's non-magnetic. It's not metal. It's not ferrous metal particularly, you know. Uh, and so uh, it can accommodate five or six of these uh, generators that we have for uh, producing the energy on ambient energy and, and personal energy uh, on, on the new highways that ban uh, fuel cars. Uh, if you look here, you can see that a couple of helicopter blades, I'm using as door holders here, uh, frame holders, and uh, if for a factory, you know, they might be able to cut 20, 30% of the weight from this and even make it stronger by pouring these all in a form, you know, a dozen or two dozen at once. So I want to remind people that bicycles and helicopter blades like this and other things are already being made of tough carbon fiber, you know, uh, and not just, this is as far as I know the first car body in, in the world made of carbon fiber uh, structural members. So I want to show, before I put in the floor, uh, the constituents of the floor. The first of three strengths of materials is tinsel strength. This is the carbon fiber itself. You see, it bends quite easily, but it won't tear apart. Secondly, is compressive uh, force. And this, these are feather light, right? Plastic. And they have joists going down the middle of them. So putting joists at right angles to each other you can press down all you want, and it doesn't crush. And the third strength is shearing strength. You have tinsel, you have compression, like concrete in buildings, and steel in bridges, and uh, you have shearing strength. And I'm using clothespins here, half clothespins for the, to hold up the periphery of the flooring uh, between the joists. And uh, I was pointing out that people think, ooh, this is very weak, very, you know. No, <laughs> the grain of the wood makes these very strong as long as they're not separated by more than a sixteenth or a quarter of an inch, like very close fitting, because then they have to go directly through. And along with adhesives, this is the basis of all the composite sandwich materials. You've seen double-wide homes and so on, prefabs and other things too, airplanes and car things, and even carbon fiber backed by polyester or fiberglass, which is too heavy. I'm avoiding that in building this car. So I'm laying the flooring in. You can see I ran on a good flooring and I had to use tape across it, so I'm hoping that it's strong enough. <laughs> I even ran on this the thick kind of this was the worst one. Four pieces. Very important that the middle piece is be strong. They press it in place. Yeah. 
Here you can see I used tape and the first one got this big wrinkle. And this is right under the chair. The chair is doing the bottom, so the chairs is going to be a big job. That's where I'm like leaving more and more to get some of your plastic chairs after you've got all you need. Three of them, all the same, 18, 19 inches in diameter. So did you take that one? I'm laying in the, fire, the carbon fiber flooring now. You see, this is stiffer. I used two coats of polyurethane and uh, two, two uh, screens under the second one. So, you see they meet at the top, right? Okay. Now, I'm walking on the floor. I'm 165 pounds. You know. You take me now? And a wet rag, you will clean it off. Uh, for the upper sequences, like holding the steering, a uh, triple thing of carbon fiber rods tied together, you know, like with a zigzag, like you see on the Sikorsky contest of uh, helipad uh, rising with human power, uh, will be adequate in strength. It doesn't need as much structural strength, uh, because of triangulation and whatnot as the, the bottom frame and the arches and so on. So I hope that uh, you'll experiment with that. And if you make a smaller vehicle, maybe you'll make the whole vehicle with bird cage. We'll call them bird cage, uh, carbon fiber rods uh, coated with carbon fiber and polyurethane film. So that's the ideas I, I'm presenting. As far as I know, it's the first in the world of a non-magnetic body which is very important because it won't interfere with the generators uh, by diverting the uh, magnetic fields toward uh, ferrous metals, you know.